Hi guys, so today I'm going to be comparing storage drives to see if there really is a big jump when going from a hard drive to an SSD. Each drive was defragged and all drives were optimized before the tests were run. The drives used are a Samsung 850 EVO 250GB SSD, a Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM 1TB SATA 3 hard drive, and just for fun, I threw in a Western Digital 7200 RPM 250GB IDE hard drive. The SATA drives both use SATA 3 6 gigabits per second, and the IDE drive used Ultra DMA 100 megabytes per second mode. I tested the drives with six games and ran each test three times per drive to get a fair average. Since I don't have any IDE ports in my main PC, I use an adapter for the IDE hard drive. Alright guys, so that's enough from me, here's the benchmarks.
So as you can see, the difference between the SATA hard drive and the SSD is large in some games and very small in others. Games like GTA 5 and Fallout 4 benefited well from the SSD, while games like CSGO and Project Cars had very little to no difference at all, at least in my testing. I made sure these results were not false by testing these specific games over 5 times, including reinstalling them. Bear in mind that the only drive with Windows installed is the SSD. The other drives only have games and software on them. This doesn't slow the SSD down, but it does allow the other hard drives to perform faster. Of course, the poor ID hard drive suffered during these tests, and load times were well over a minute longer than the SATA hard drive in some cases. It also struggled with loading textures and objects for some games, which hurt performance greatly. Aside from the games, the number one reason I would recommend an SSD is the speed increase you get while using Windows. Everything you do feels faster and snappier, and not only does Windows boot fast, but programs start up instantly after boots. File transfers are lightning fast, and SSDs are a solid choice for recording 1080p 60fps video and above, something that some hard drives struggle with. 250GB SSDs are regularly seen for as little as 60 US dollars, and are going to get even cheaper as time goes on. Now is a great time to buy one, and I would highly recommend you do. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was informative to you. Uh, if it was, make sure to leave a like and a comment on your thoughts about SSDs, maybe you own one, where your results are different to mine. And uh, also make sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.